Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Panchas. Welcome back to Dungeon of the Endless playthrough slash tutorial. Before we go on, I might as well open the door, but before we go on, I'd like to apologize for the very long break that was between this episode and the last one. Unfortunately, there was the Steam Halloween sale during which I, you know, noticed that, hey, The Walking Dead Season 2 is on sale. So I just clicked it to check it out to see... You know, I was wanted to see when the new episode is gonna come out, and I realized the last episode was already out, so I can buy the game and play it, and I did. And the next two days I spent locked up in my room with my phone turned off and internet unplugged. That's the end of the story, so... Yeah, sorry for no videos, but I had uh, <clears throat> more important things to do. Seriously though, it was awesome. Anyway, let's go ahead and proceed with this dungeon. So far, obviously, I have done the obvious, opened the door, started generating some more industry, which I have a ton of, but, you know, we always want to have at least one generator, or the one in my current situation might be enough, since I have a huge stockpile, and this room, unfortunately, has a stele in it, which is... Uh, uh. It's not a bad stele if you find it later on, because look at the amount of witty gain. That's quite a really... quite a nice stele, but... I hate the fact that I got it purely because, you know, I don't have operators, so that is a problem. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is leave this uh, room like so, powered, because I don't have a lot of dust. And it's likely that I will find extra dust by opening doors, but I can't bank on that, you know, it's a little bit too risky. So, let's keep exploring other rooms and see what I can find. And another stele. Are you effing kidding me? Alright, it's at least not... <laughs> it is a bad stele because it stays for five effing doors. Kinda bad, but what I can do is explore this door because I have enough dust to power three rooms in a secure location and this area will be my backyard. This will be where I'll sit and I'll have a safe little base. And even more dust, that's nice. And that's the exploded dude, by the way. He can do a lot of damage when he, once he explodes, but he's really not that scary. Once there's a lot of them, they are, but even then I'm not overly concerned with them. Unless they explode, which by then they're pretty bad, but usually you kind of make them not explode pretty easily I'll teach you how later on. Alright, so like I said, I have industry and I really... I need more industry though. But this will be a room where I put my operator in and I'll still be able to make profit from industry modules later on because floor 7 is pretty big usually. And I really, 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 really need food. So let's go ahead and start working on that. Now... When it comes to leveling and whatnot, I'll open this door as well. When it comes to leveling and whatnot, there are two heroes I really want to level up right now. One hero that I kind of want to level up and one hero who I completely do not care about. The hero I completely do not care about is OP Bot. OP Bot unfortunately is kind of worthless once you level him up because he doesn't gain much. Now he's gonna get a Master Hacker as him with some passive skill. I think it's Master... Yeah, level 5 Master Hacker, I think. Either way, not very useful ability. It takes him forever to gain anything useful, in fact. As his second active, he gets the healing ability that the nurse also has. But he's not even supposed to be in the in the action. He's got fairly bad stats. Okay defense, don't get me wrong. And you can actually make his defense really high. So he's a nice combination of defense and speed, but not that amazing. He gains extra wit from leveling up, but not a lot either. Overall, not a really amazing hero. Who do I want to give Guardian uniform to? You just have a bulletproof vest, so... You're gonna have it, even though you don't need it. Now, let's go ahead and open more doors before I continue on talking, because this could be boring. So let's firstly power up this room and make some more food, because I need the food. I have plenty of science because of Ikensha, so let's make sure that I can continue working on food. It's very important. Now, I'll move back over to this room. Now, there's a risk, which I'll deal with in a second, of monsters spawning in this room when I open this door, and then they can make a beeline for the crystal. But, a lot of the monsters on the Dragon Floor don't actually make a beeline into the crystal even if they have the opportunity. You can easily have them stay in this room if you have a hero in it. Those who will ignore you are mostly suiciders, and suicider mobs never attack the crystal. They go past the crystal into a more valuable room, like this one for example. So I'm pretty s oh, safe and secure, and the stella is done, gone. Good to know. I don't need the science, I kinda want food and I kinda want science too. I mean industry, not science. Got two heroes operating on food already, and I need this industry to pay for itself, so I'm gonna start generating more industry. Because, trust me when I say it, I'm gonna need it at some point. So, however, before I move on, I'm gonna power this room and create a few turrets. So what kind of turrets? Uh, just pepper spray. Because I don't know if I'll need to put more turrets in here later down the line. Probably, but not necessarily. 
And pepper spray is always good. It's a little bit costly, yes, 12 industry is a lot for a minor module, but it's an extremely powerful module because it messes up with the enemy AI path thing a ton. The monsters just don't know what to do when some of them are actually trying to kill their friends. It's very difficult for the AI to handle and you can abuse it beautifully. So, what are the other heroes that I should consider leveling up? Hikensha gets really nice set of abilities as you level him here up constantly. How about the small... Oh, 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 hold on. You get back over here. How about the sp more problem that there is with that is that... There are other heroes that you need to level up more and Hikensha is pretty good already on level 8 and whatnot. So, you don't need to really necessarily look at this pepper spray. It's so awesome. You don't really need to concern yourself with leveling Hikensha up. He's really good when you level him up, but right now... I actually have more important heroes to level up, believe it or not. So the first hero is her. Uh, Rakia, I can never remember her name. Rakia gains an amazing ability. Once she hits... Oh, there is a big crystal guy. He does go for the crystal, so that is a problem. Uh, Suiciders, that's not a problem. They'll blow up in here. Or people to be fine, and this module will be fine also. Actually, he doesn't get... Mas no, yeah, he does get Master Hacker. Never mind. But the crystal dude, oh, this could be a problem. So, all those modules cost quite a lot though. I could create Prison Prod 3. But Prison Prod 3 will attack the Vile Snake and let the big guy go through. And that is the problem. The only turret that would attack the big guy is the Tesla module. It wouldn't kill him in time, it wouldn't be built in time either. Uh, Neurostone module would be nice because it would slow him down. It wouldn't be good enough though. But, I do have a pepper spray in here. Unless it targets the suiciders, which it might, which would also be good because suiciders are amazing at killing friendly crystal dudes. But if, it, the, but if the pepper spray targets the Val snake, actually, what does it focus on? Can I see it? Um, most powerful target, uh, monster. So Val snake is the most powerful currently in the room. So it will target this guy. This guy, uh, well, he will help me kill the other guys, including the crystal guy. And turrets are smart. Usually they would focus on the Vile Snakes, but if they see that this Vile Snake is friendly and that there's another mob in the room, they'll target the other mob. So let's create Prison Prod 2s and hope that they will be able to kill, uh, you know, the big crystal guy in time. As for you, you get back over here quick. I am ready to use Hellfire if necessary. I will use Hellfire. It is maybe not necessary, but I can't risk losing uh, Dust. Come on, come on, uh, it's bad. Okay, as soon as you get in this room, charge it up, all your abilities. Okay, done. I lost a lot of dust, unfortunately. Oh, come on, no, not again. <sighs> there was a second dude. I completely didn't see him even. Strange. Very strange. Yeah, I need to level up my pepper spray really quickly, because then it gets a better rate of fire and it lasts for longer, and then it's really good against the big crystal dudes. Okay, that was unfortunate, but the odds of another wave spawning right now are lowered, so it should be still okay. So anyway, I do want to level her up quite badly. She gets an amazing active ability later on and makes her an excellent defender. Frontline major module operator, if you know what I mean. Like, if I were to put a major module here and operate it and have this room as my defense room, which I won't do it right now, but if I were to do that, should be the best, because she's got an active ability that is very similar to Hellfire, but... It damages friendlies as well, but it's also way more powerful. It destroys everything in the room. So, it's a really useful ability to have. And another style, what's that? Keep your... Oh, okay. That is absolutely horrible. No mobs spawned. No oh, kind of got all of them spawned. In all... F okay, right now I'm starting to think I might need to move some heroes. Although if the big crystal dudes don't spawn, it should be okay. Vile snakes could be a problem. I think I'm gonna... Need to spend food on healing up Mitzi as well. Thing is though, Mitzi, I was going to talk about this anyway, is the last hero that I wanted to discuss because she's the most important to level up. Why? Look at her stats. You see her stats? Yeah, that's not stats. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's significant. Extra 5 defense per level. It's huge. It really, really is quite huge. And she needs that defense. Of course, right now it won't help because of the stupid stele, but usually... You want to level her up pretty fast, because she's gonna be attacked a ton. She, well, in my case, also has Pharaoh, which doesn't help. But she needs the defense very badly. And But with the defense, and with Hellfire and Battle Madness, combined with amazing defense she can have, yeah, really good combo. Thing is, though, right now there's the Stele, which is a bit of a problem. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is power this room as well. 
I'm gonna need to make some turrets in here anyway. Let's start working on that pepper spray. No mobs will attack main minor modules in here, so it's safe to make that. And don't tell me that Varsnake will. Oh, it does did make it to the crystal. All right, we've got 46 dust. If I move a pivot in here, mobs could potentially decide that it's worth far to blow up in the crystal room. Uh, he can't shut, dear man. Stop operating. Get over here. Maybe. Oh no 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 no! Don't tell me that you're gonna blow up too. Sacrifice everything. Let's see. Uh, you just keep those monsters in there. Okay. Uh, now be careful. Oh come on! Actually, vile snakes do damage over time. I don't know how many hits I got. If I got two hits, then I could be instantly dead next as soon as I unpause. So let's kick her up just in case. Ah, uh, she was fine. I was already hit by the damage over time. It looks like. All right. I lost a ton of power. A metric ton of power, unfortunately. Things are going really badly, but it's still gonna be fine. I'm just gonna need to stop operating for a while and use my heroes instead of on, instead of using my heroes as operators. I'm gonna need to use them as uh, people who just make sure that rooms with no power cannot get any spawns in because this is kind of crazy right now. Seriously, go away. All right. So first things first. I do need all my major modules to be operatable, except for this one. It's fine if it is not. A year, dear lady. You currently are ah, still on level 5, you don't have your amazing active skill, you go stand in the dark over here. He can show you stand in the dark over here, you go ahead and keep on opening more doors. There is a pepper spray in here ready now, which is great, it will confuse uh, the mobs in a fairly major way. In fact, let's also make a narrow stun in here as well. And Tergas too. Because I think no matter what happens, this is gonna be a pretty volatile point in my dungeon. So let's make sure that it is as well defended as possible. I'll even make a testing module, why not? I've got industry, that's why I have it. Alright, so there's that. I'm generating some food and some industry. Oh, people are still walking on said industry, so it's good. I can make turrets. Waste industry per se, which is not really wasteful. I need to do it. Uh, level up anybody? Well, the leveling, giving him more defense doesn't work right now because what will I gain from this? So I'm cool level up twice to give her the active ability. Kinda don't want to spend this much food. But if I end up having to move her, which I might, this would be useful. So let's level her up to Y. So there you go. Health warning. Amazing ability, as you can see. It's This amount of damage over time is pretty, pretty beautiful. 25 uh, HP per second. Uh huh. Beastly. Let's just say it's beastly. All right. So let's go ahead and open the door. Nice and easy. And what mob spawned? It's a dust factory. Oh, I really need a dust factory. Of course, mob spawned again. That's This is just unlucky. Alright, you go back in there, looks like no more spawns, good, let's power up those two rooms, make sure that the pepper spray is working along with the rest of modules. Now the big guy, uh, I'm gonna try to make sure that the pepper spray in this room will target him. Nice, and I did this by forcing the valve to move to the other room. Good. Mitzi, safe. Alright, everything's fine. No need to worry, let's go ahead and activate the dust factory. At the very worst, it will blow up. And waste some of my industry. I could care less, I need the dust. I got the dust, very nice. So let's operate this room and activate this room as well. Move Fukensh a little bit forward. Can I try and leave Rakia opening some other major module? I think I need to, and right now situation is under control. The chances of enemy mobs spawning are significantly lowered, and those rooms are pretty secure, even against the big guys. I'm tempted to destroy those Prince of Prods though, and make something better though. And I will do just that because, well, I need the best thing I can get. Terragas or Nero Stun, though? That is the question. Uh, it's not a very long room, but it is long enough. I'll make a Nero Stun to give myself more time if the crystal guys do come through. And this will also give more time for the Pepper Spray to target the big guys. And Terragas, well, I'm not gonna have any defense offensive modules in there. And Terragas 1 still deals some damage over time, but not too much. I think I'm gonna go for a Tesla module instead. And it's gonna target the big guys, which is what I really want. Alright, so she's gonna operate. Hikensha is gonna stand guard, which is nice. He's got the best stuff he can have. Mitzi are doing fine. I cannot level you up, but it's still okay. This is still like four more doors. F me. Mitzi relies on her defense without it. She's pretty bad. Okay. More dust. That's nice. Hikensha, can you prevent mobs from spawning there? That would be nice. Actually, it's the exit door. So no mobs would spawn anyway. Never mind. It's kind of nice that we found the exit or egg already, but there is one downside there. I was unable to find any research station yet. 
What are the odds that there will be a research over here? Behind this door? Or behind this door? Uh, I don't know. Let's risk it anyway. Whatever is behind this door, Mitsu can deal with it with her abilities easily. And Hikesha can buy me enough time to try opening something else. And I do have the excess power. I could create major modules in here, but with the amount of bickers to guys that can come, it would be a waste. I would be able to keep those modules alive, no way. So let's open this door, see what is there. Is there anything in here? I can barely see it, it's too dark. Oh great, really? Really? Uh, I'm gonna need to use a hellfire, otherwise this food module is gonna be lost. Let's do that and activate the ability. And no, no, no. Arina spawned. And he spawned in there and he's gonna go straight for the exit as well. Okay, Hikesha, there's a problem. Hikesha doesn't have any defense because of this stupid stele. Rhino's gonna open this door. I don't think I can stop him. I will consider moving my heroes forward. At least Ra Rakia, whatever her name is. It could be a necessity. Alright, firstly though. Are you gonna be fine? Yeah, she's gonna save this module, so that's good. Uh, how about you? Oh, he's already banging on it. Right. Wall face, sacrifice, alright, that's good. Now, go away, run. Uh, there's another rhino, really? Where is the other rhino? There it is, kid, nice. Okay, the exploding dudes, oh, no, no, no. Oops, he was past the door. Wow, I didn't notice that he's past the door. I didn't notice he had this little health. It, it, I feel like he's got a ton of health. I thought he's got full health, actually. I mean, maybe I didn't look. I, I guess I didn't look, but I thought he's got full health, full health. Although, if he had no defense because of the stupid stele, that would be understandable. Well, then I'm glad I didn't spend my food leveling him up any further, huh? Oh, things are gonna go south now. Dill's kamikaze is... It's really annoying that this was the most valuable room. I mean, you know what I will do? I will make some extra turrets in one of those rooms to make it more valuable than this room so that Kamikazes will not blow up in here. Alright, uh, that's for the future, but for now I need to focus on surviving, so let's move on. Move in, rather. Uh, make the pepper spray ASAP. And uh, see what I can do. Alright, the big crystal dude is still pepper sprayed. It's not gonna stay pepper sprayed out. Oh boy. He's no longer pepper sprayed, in fact. You stay here. Okay, good. Just to do this dead. Those are all the mobs. I lost Kensha. That is, I'm not gonna lie, bad. Where's his stuff even? Yeah, he was in the room, barely. That's unlucky. I didn't think, apparently. Alright, well, let's calm down. Bulletproof vest, well, it's gonna take a lot of my speed, but this girl, she needs defense more than speed. Nano Bros, that's gonna give me a bit more health regen and take away repair. Yeah, doesn't she have repair on default? I think she does. Yes, she does. So, yeah, none of pros are better. What about you? There's, uh, yeah, he would gain a repair, which you already have, so that's not a good thing. Get a guard uniform, why not? Alright, let's think, let's think. It's still fine. It is problematic, I'm not gonna lie, but it is still more or less fine. I have to power Warfare's room, which is a problem. I do not see a research station anywhere. I could leg it, but I will not. Firstly, I need another hero. Secondly, I need more research. Thirdly, uh, I'm not gonna chicken out yet. No, 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 no. I'm not ready to do that just yet. So, firstly, make sure the kamikazes will not blow up over there. So, instead, I'm gonna fortify this room for no effing reason. I've got a ton of industry to spare. That is why I was stockpiling this industry. So, I can use it. So, I don't know. Maybe this room will be useful to power up and defend in later. So, let's go ahead and make all the right stuff. There are gas, there the module, pepper spray, and a ton of testing modules. This is now by far the most valuable room in this dungeon. Kamikazes will love it. And there's no way they will go to this room now, which is good. So let's make sure that this room has all the important stuff in it as well. Something to slow them gown down, I mean. A terror gas to make sure they can take more damage when they defend in here. And a Tesla module as well to reduce some consistent damage. Alright, good. Uh, I cannot open models over there. I, I need there to be a research station over there because... If there is a research station over here, I cannot defend it from the crystal dudes. I cannot. I'll just lose it. That's the problem. Alright, so let's open. No research station, no anything. A hero, maybe? No, there's monsters. Are there any other monsters that will spawn? No. But what I can do is fight in an area that is safe-ish. So let's make sure that this is the case. It will also help me test the fury if the kamikazes will blow up in here or not. I don't think they should. Actually, let's put them here in here just to see. Oh yeah, they still blow up. 
They still blow up in this room if there's a hero. But if there's no hero, it looks like they do not blow up. So I'll stay out of this room. I'll put my hero in this room for the future. And... Lol. And yeah, it should be okay. Kamikaze should not blow up here. I think. It is possible that this room, for some stupid reason, is for the AI still to... More or less as valuable as this room is. So maybe they'll still blow up. But I think it was because of the hero. Heroes are very, very valuable. For the kamikazes. Alright, uh, so this still is gone. More power. That's nice. I could use some more power. Dear me to run back. More waves are gonna spawn. I have a fit. No, maybe not. Alright. So let's actually wait here for a second. I will let those kamikazes uh, destroy if they want to. Do they want to? Well, now he's pepper spread, so we'll never know. Never mind. Okay, blow up for me. No? Okay, you're just gonna die. That's fine too, I don't mind. Stella is now gone, so I actually do have some defense, which is useful. <clears throat> I could level Mitsu up, which she does need, but I need that. I mean, food now for, you know, Hikensha, because, you know, he's dead. So, yeah, no. I'm trying to open this room. I feel like right for the first time in history could be good for me. Let's be controversial, let's open it up. It's bad! Never open the doors on the right, kids. Never ever do that. I made a mistake now once and I should not have. Alright, that's fine though. Uh, let's go ahead and go back. Rhino, I do not care about. It's fine. He's gonna. Bo Ooh, wow. Uh, it's only two dudes. It's fine. But let's help her anyway because there's a lot more dudes behind us. No, 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 no. Kamikazes. No, kamikazes are not cool. Oh, he's not blowing up. That's nice. Alright. In this case, I'll stay in this room. And then juggle well a little bit, and then finish everybody off, and everybody's dead. So as you can see, if you have pepper spray and a hero to juggle the mobs with, and possibly have a hellfire or similar ability, you can fend from one side against anything. Seriously. There's a bunch of heroes I like that can do that. That's Mitzi. Mitzi's really good at that, that's why I like her. I used to hate her, because she's pretty bad at the start, but she gets really good later on, as you can see. That's also Rakia, because of her ability. That's the Chef, because of his global ability. And that is also, what's, uh, hold on, this other hero that I really love, oh, like her face, what's her face, the lady in the red suit, like the big bulky suit, she has rockets, and those rockets are the best, out of all the heroes I listed, she's my favorite, she's the most useful, alright, power up this room, and I could leg it, I mean, the room layout is very, very bad, as you can see, no matter where I go, it's gonna be hard to defend, mobs are gonna come from here, but it looks like this side I've got covered, as long as I can use Mitzi to defend, and I still have dust to explore more doors, so I'm gonna try it. Just in case something bad spawns, I'm gonna make a pepper spray in here. Like I said, that's why I have this industry. I need to make minor modules now, before it's too late. A hero or a research station? No, no, of course not. But, oh wait, it is a research station. Alright, power this up. Mob spawn, mob spawn. Of course mob spawns. Three, it looks like. Yeah, only three. Oh, three too many. Alright, now the thing is, when you pepper spray a kamikaze, uh, when they blow up, they do damage their friendlies, but they also damage your structures too, which is a bit of a pickle sometimes. Alright, so Mitsi just wreck havoc and then keep walking back and forth in this room because you're taking a bit too damage from the kamikazes, thank you very much. And oh boy. No, 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 this is not cool, this is not cool in any way, shape or form. You get over here, oh, crying out, no, 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 no. Kill him! Kill the bastard! Kill him now! Well, that was close enough. Maybe I should like it. This room layout is really bad for me. <coughs> I cannot defend it. I just can't. I can't power this room, power this room, but what, then what? I have to keep opening these doors. And I'm running out of dust. And I just lost some dust defending as well. I think I should like it. It's bad. It's sometimes on those little floors, you should like it. And I can keep the exit route fairly secure. I mean, look at this. With all this dust. Yeah, easy escape. No other doors for, here, uh, for the monsters to open here. And I do not believe I can defend if I keep opening doors. Sure, I'll be able to open for one, two, maybe even three door opens, but then I'm gonna get overrun. There is nothing I can do about it. All right, there is research here. And the thing is, I'm not gonna research it, but I need to clarify something that I wasn't sure about before. That was a long time ago, but it has been a while since I recorded those video casts. You don't want to reset things if you're about to escape and you haven't opened all the doors in the dungeon. Because the thing is, your research finishes after three doors opened or after you opened the last door in the dungeon. It, used, it wasn't always like this in the old days. 
It only mattered if you opened three doors, not if you opened the last door. Right now, it research will automatically finish once you open the last door in the dungeon. However, it will not finish after you exit the door. So, for example, if you start research after you open the last door, but before you try to exit, you're not gonna get anything. Just FYI. Now, I'm not sure, I haven't tried this yet, but it's possible. If I start research now and leg it, then all the doors will open in the da dungeon. So, all the doors will be opened, and as such, it's possible that it will be enough to trigger the research to finish. It is a risk. Nobody would do this, but for science, let's risk it. For the Precator 3. I'm gonna need those anyway. So, I might waste it, but I'm gonna leg it, and we will see if it works the way I think it is. And I think it should work, because all the doors will open, including the last door. It is, however, possible that it's scripted in such a way that... If you are carrying the crystal, then you cannot get more science. Alright, so who's the fastest OP bot? It sure looks this way. Alright, I could of course look at the stats, which would be smarter and faster, but who cares. Alright, OP bot is indeed the fastest. I could take the Guardian uniform from him, but he's gonna be defended by two layers of pepper spray. Nothing bad is gonna happen. I could repair those turrets, no point in wasting our time. Let's grab the crystal. Leg it. Leg it, leg it, leg it, leg it. Alright. So, okay, a huge flop, probably a, some heroes will not. Full Epicator unlocked, yeah, it did work like this, as you can see. If I can pause and still see, now I cannot scroll up. Oh, yes, I can. Uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Uh, full Epicator unlock, you found a match, and new item, you know, it less of all the current flock has been unlocked. Yeah, see, so, even, uh, so that's how it works. It's confirmed, if you want to leg it, you can do it, you're still gonna get your sass, which is good. Yeah, and there was no hero on this floor either, I left quite a lot of artifacts and whatnot, but that's fine. It's the best I could do in this scenario. So I'm really satisfied with how it went. I mean, I did lose a Kensha, alright, but... Yeah, bad news, we lost one. Yes, indeed, we kinda did. Good news... <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that is good news. If I lost her, I would be gone. Hikensha? Well, Hikensha is awesome. One of the best heroes you can have. But it's saying that he's never like this, you know, critical hero that you, that you need to have. He's always good to have. He's not necessary to have, if you know what I mean. It's kind of sad. He's so good and yet so replaceable. Poor guy. Anyway, yes, finally. Oh, so many multiplayer games. I was about to unlock her and they either crashed or I lost her. It was so annoying. But now I have all the heroes unlocked. Finally. She was the last one I didn't have unlocked. Good. All right, now I'm satisfied. Ladies and gentlemen, as promised, one video per room, because floor rather, because those floors get kind of extensive nowadays. So thank you very much for watching. It was of course Pancha, so also known as the Mighty Mix Spammer. Finished playing The Walking Dead, so next video is gonna be sooner than later, don't worry. I'll also try to record some quotas videos, as promised, as soon as possible. Not, not, not today, but as soon as possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you online.